students we are discussing microbes as bio control agents right microbes as bio control agents in this we started bacterial bio insecticides right bacterial bio insecticides now listen after after development after development of uh, genetic engineering after development of a uh, genetic uh, engineering after development of genetic engineering what scientist did means they isolated a bt gene from bacillus thuringiensis bacteria is it okay from which bacteria bacillus from bacillus what thuringiensis bacteria from bacillus thuringiensis bacteria right what was isolated bt gene was isolated bt gene was isolated what is the shortcut of this bacteria bt right bt bacillus thuringiensis right therefore after development of uh, genetic engineering after development of genetic engineering bt gene was isolated from bacillus thuringiensis bacteria right this bt gene uh, was introduced uh, into plants this bt gene was introduced into what sir plants it means now plant is with uh, which gene bt gene such plants are called as bt plants what are such plants called as a bt plants sir what is the meaning of bt plants sir plants with bt gene such plants are called as what sir bt plants sir this bt gene is introduced into plants right which plants sir this bt gene is introduced into which plants sir? number 1 cotton cotton number 2 brinjal brinjal right number 3 soya bean soya bean right number 4 potato potato number 5 tomato tomato number 6 uh, rice number 7 corn corn maize right therefore these are some plants uh, into which uh, bt gene was uh, introduced therefore now all these plants becomes which plants are bt plants therefore bt cotton bt brinjal bt soya bean bt potato bt tomato bt rice bt corn is it okay right now listen here sir cotton it's dicot or monocot it's dicot right brinjal is also a dicot soya bean it's dicot potato dicot tomato dicot rice monocot monocot whereas corn is also monocot right it clearly indicates that a bt gene can be introduced either into a dicot plant or into a monocot plant a bt gene this is a gene of bacteria a prokaryotic organism which can be introduced either into a dicot plant or into a monocot plant is it okay plants means they are eukaryotic it means we are introducing a prokaryotic gene into eukaryotic organisms is this statement clear right this is very very important statement sporin what it is a sporin sporin is the first uh, sporin is the first uh, bio insecticide based on bt bt stands for bacillus thuringiensis bacteria right therefore sporin is the first uh, sporin is the first bio insecticide based on what bacillus thuringiensis bacteria is it okay right this is concerned to bacterial bio insecticides right now go for number 2 go for the second one
Right, <coughs> go for number two, second one. What it is? Viral bio insecticide. What it is? Viral bio insecticide. Viral bio insecticide. Sir, virus is a cellular or a cellular. Virus is a cellular, right? Virus is a a cellular. It is a neither prokaryotic nor eukaryotic. Neither prokaryotic. Neither prokaryotic nor eukaryotic. Who sir? Virus. Virus is a neither prokaryotic nor a what? Eukaryotic. Now listen this statement carefully. Take baculovirus. What is the virus name, sir? Baculovirus. Baculovirus attacks. Baculovirus. What, sir? Attacks. It attacks insects and other arthropods. Attacks what? Insects. And other. arthropods now see this statement carefully sir baculovirus it attacks what insects insects also comes under arthropoda that's why here we are writing uh, not only insects but also other arthropods is this statement okay right therefore baculovirus it attacks uh, insects and other arthropods sir arthropoda vertebrate phyla or invertebrate phyla invertebrate phyla it is a invertebrate phyla arthropoda is it okay right now majority of a baculovirus majority of what baculovirus majority of baculovirus used as a biocontrol agents used as what sir biocontrol agents used as biocontrol agents sir this baculovirus comes under genus npv baculovirus comes under genus what sir npv baculovirus baculovirus comes under genus baculovirus comes under genus what sir npv what is the full form of npv sir nucleo nucleo polyhydro virus what is the full form of npv nucleo polyhydro virus sir baculovirus comes under which genus sir npv comes under npv genus is this statement okay right now listen this statement sir this baculovirus they are species specific it means acts on a particular species it is a species specific so its action is a narrow or a broad narrow Therefore, it shows a narrow spectrum insecticidal application. Who? Baculovirus. Therefore, baculovirus, it is a species specific. Baculovirus. Baculovirus is a species specific. It means acting on a particular type of a species. Okay, it is a species specific and uh, shows what narrow spectrum, narrow spectrum insecticidal application. Is this statement okay? Baculovirus is species specific and it shows what it shows a narrow spectrum insecticidal application now you tell me sir baculovirus right does it acts on non-target organisms no 
it acts only on the target organism because it is species specific and it is showing a narrow spectrum insecticidal application therefore baculovirus what baculovirus baculovirus has no has no effect no effect on plants animals fishes birds and uh, non target insects is this statement okay right it means uh, baculovirus uh, is not attacking any non target organisms it is attacking only target one that two insects and what other arthropods is this statement okay right now listen here sir as baculovirus uh, it is a species specific and shows a narrow insecticidal right uh, applications right this baculovirus is used in baculovirus used as a bio insecticide in number 1 i p m i p m what is the meaning of i p m sir integrated pest management program integrated uh, pest pest management uh, program what is the full form of ipm integrated pest management program sir what is another name for this integrated pest management program sir sustainable pest management program sustainable pest management program is this statement okay right sir baculovirus is a species specific and it shows a narrow spectrum insecticidal applications so baculovirus is used in ipm that is integrated pest management program nothing but a sustainable pest management program it is even used in ecologically sensitive areas who baculovirus used in what sir ecologically sensitive areas ecologically sensitive areas it is even used in ecologically sensitive areas is this statement okay right now you tell me sir what is the meaning of integrated pest management program what is the meaning of integrated pest management program integrated pest management program means uh, name itself indicates integrated or integration integration of uh, tactics integration of uh, tactics uh, to control single pest to control single pest uh, on one crop or or many crops it means uh, it is a mixture integration of many tactics strategies by we are using right this integration of tactics sir to control a single pest where that pest is present which is present on one crop or many crops which is present on one crop 
Aran many crops. Is this statement clear? Right. This is concerned to what sir? Viral bio insecticide. Viral bio insecticide. Now listen here. We are discussing microbes as a bio control agents, right? In this microbes as bio control agents, number three. Go for the third one. It's a fungi. Fungi as bio control agent. Fungi as what, sir? Bio control agent. Fungi as bio control agent. Sir, what is the best example of fungi which is used as bio control agent? Trichoderma. Trichoderma. I am writing genus name. What is the genus name? Trichoderma. Sir, this trichoderma, is it algae or fungi? It's fungi. Sir, it comes under which class, sir? It comes under class Deuteromycetes. It comes under class what, sir? Deuteromycetes. Sir, this trichoderma, right, is used as biocontrol agent. Trichoderma is used as what, sir? Biocontrol agent. Sir, where this trichoderma is present, sir? It is generally present in root ecosystem. Generally present in what, sir? Root ecosystem. Generally present in root ecosystem. Generally present in root ecosystem. Sir, is this trichoderma symbiotically associated with plants, sir? No, it's free living. Trichoderma is what? Free living. Trichoderma is a free living fungi. It's a free living fungi. Sir, what is the use of this trichoderma, sir? Used to control uh, plant diseases. Used to control. Used to control uh, what, sir? Plant uh, diseases used to control plant diseases is it okay right next one sir this trichoderma it is a uh, effective it is a uh, effective on several plant pathogens effective on several plant pathogens effective on several plant pathogens who sir trichoderma see this statement carefully sir trichoderma is used as a bio control agent yes or no trichoderma is used as what bio control agent is used as bio control agent sir cyclosporin a is a immunosuppressive agent right what it is cyclosporin a is a immunosuppressive agent we discussed it under other bioactive molecules right Sir, that cyclosporin A is extracted from trichoderma polysporum, right? Trichoderma polysporum. It means cyclosporin A is extracted from a fungi which belongs to genus trichoderma, yes or no? Here also the fungi which is belonging to genus trichoderma is used as a biocontrol agent. Is this statement okay? Right. Therefore, the fungi which belongs to genus trichoderma that fungi, I am speaking about genus word, not about species word, right? The fungi which belongs to genus Trichoderma, that fungi is used as biocontrol agent. That fungi is used to extract uh, cyclosporin A, a immunosuppressive agent. Cyclosporin A, a immunosuppressive agent. Is this statement clear, right? This is concerned to fungi as biocontrol agent. Fungi as what? Biocontrol agent. Fungi as biocontrol agent. <laughs> now, listen here. I'll go for some important statements uh, concerned to microbes as biocontrol agents, right? Note. Right, number one. 
bio important points concerned to right uh, some important points concerned to bio control agents right note number 1 types of uh, types of bio pesticides types of what bio pesticides types of bio pesticides sir this bio pesticides uh, generally generally of uh, two types bio pesticides generally of how many types sir two types what are they number 1 bio bio herbicides what they are bio herbicides and second one is a uh, right bio insecticides what and what bio herbicides and bio insecticides go for first one what sir bio herbicides bio herbicides sir these bio herbicides are also called as a bio weedicides also called as a what sir bio weedicides sir what are this bio herbicides or bio weedicides sir bio means what living organisms right therefore using living organisms uh, using what living organisms uh, to control weeds uh, using living organisms using what living organisms to control uh, to control what sir weeds now listen this statement carefully the living organisms which are used to control weeds that living organisms we are calling as bio herbicides living organisms which control weeds they are called as what sir bio herbicides this bio herbicides they may be bio herbicides may be bio herbicides may be either insect or microorganism bio herbicide it may be either insect or a microorganism either insect or a microorganism is it okay right go for the first condition what's our insect what it is insect insect predators what sir insect predators insect predators <coughs> right now for example a insect predator by name a cactoblastis what is the insect predator name cactoblastis cact to blastis cacto blastis uh, right uh, cacto blastis uh, is a insect predator which feeds on specific which feeds on what sir which feeds on a specific weed what is that specific weed sir opentia what is that specific weed sir opentia opentia right this opentia is also called as a prickly what it is called as a it is also called as a prickly pear cactus it is also called as what prickly pear cactus okay is this statement clear right therefore sir opentia is a weed on this weed right which insect is acting as a predator sir cactoblastis what it is 
cactoblastis is it okay right next uh, number 2 go for the second example go for the second example right second example is a uh, chrysolina what it is a uh? chrysolina chrysolina sir chrysolina beetle which beetle chrysolina beetle is a insect predator sir it acts on which weed sir it acts on a weed by name kalmath what is that weed name sir kalmath therefore on this kalmath weed who is feeding chrysolina beetle a insect predator is feeding is this statements okay right this is concerned to what sir insect predators this is concerned to insect predators now go for the second case what sir microorganisms what it is microorganisms microorganisms for example you take a spores of a cercospora fungi spores of a cercospora fungi sir what is the species name we are discussing here sir cercospora rodmani what is the right fungi name cercospora rodmani this is a fungi the spores of this fungi with the help of spores of this fungi with the help of spores of this fungi a weed is eliminated what is eliminated a weed is eliminated by name water hyacinth what is a weed name water hyacinth sir water hyacinth icarnia right what it is icarnia icarnia therefore see carefully sir in first case we are using insect predators what this insect predators are doing they are feeding on a specific weed insect predators they are feeding on a specific weed in second case we are using spores of cercospora rodmani what these spores are doing they causes diseases in the weed they causes diseases in the weed which weeds are icarnia that is water hyacinth is it okay therefore insect predators they feeds on a specific weed whereas microorganisms such as spores of cercospora rodmani right causes diseases in a weed by name icarnia is it okay right this is concerned to bio herbicides right now go for the second one what it is bio insecticides bio insecticides sir bio means living organisms right so we are using a living organism or products of a living organism using living organisms or products of living organisms uh, right uh, to control what sir insects to control what sir insects therefore living organisms or products products of living organisms living organisms are products of what sir living organisms are used to control used to control uh, insects used to control what sir insects they are called as bio insecticides called as what bio insecticides called as bio insecticides is this statement okay right now listen here sir what are the natural bio insecticides from which plants they are extracted from right natural bio insecticides natural bio insecticides extracted from plant go for the first one number 1 rotinone what it is rotinone 
sir this bio insecticide is extracted from which plant sir it is extracted from roots of there is roots of a there is elliptica extracted from roots of there is elliptica right number 2 go for the second example nicotine what it is nicotine sir this nicotine is extracted from which plant sir tobacco plant extracted from which plant sir tobacco plant next uh, number 3 go for the third one azadi rectin what it is azadi rectin azadi rectin sir this azadi rectin is extracted from which plant sir neem leaves because azadi rakta indica is a scientific name of neem right azadi rakta indica is a scientific name of neem plant okay right go for number 4 fourth one pyrithrum what it is pyrithrum sir this pyrithrum is a natural bio insecticide extracted from plant chrysanthemum extracted from plant what sir chrysanthemum right next uh, last one number five thurio side what it is thurio side t h u r i o s i d e thurio side this thurio side is extracted from bacteria by name bacillus thuringiensis extracted from which bacteria sir bacillus thuringiensis bacteria extracted from bacillus thuringiensis bacteria in first year we read that this deris comes under fabaceae family comes under which family fabaceae family tobacco solanaceae family tobacco solanaceae family neem miliaceae family neem comes under miliaceae family chrysanthemum chrysanthemum cinerifolium right it comes under asteraceae family asteraceae family whereas this is a bacillus thuringiensis what it is bacteria this is a bacteria right bacteria prokaryotic remaining four these are plants therefore these are eukaryotic these are eukaryotic is this statement okay right therefore rotinone nicotine azadi rectin pyrithrum right thuriocide all these are what sir natural bio insecticides all these are natural bio insecticides therefore sir bio pesticides are of how many types two types what are they first one is bio herbicides and second one is bio insecticides is it okay right